Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good morning, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm good, what about you? So far so good, thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thanks. And the rest of you, everybody, how are you? How do you feel? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great, teacher. Excellent. So everybody, welcome, welcome to the class. Are you ready to continue with the exam? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, everybody, today we are going to continue um, with the exam. Today is the last day to take the evaluations. Okay? So, if you don't pass today, well, there are not more opportunities. So, please, everybody who didn't pass yesterday, have to pass today. So you can lift your hands, please. I need to lift your hands, the ones that didn't pass yesterday. Please, everybody, the ones who didn't pass yesterday, can you lift your hands? Okay, I can see two people, only two people didn't pass yesterday. Okay, I can see three people. Good morning. Morning. Did you pass yesterday, guys? If you didn't pass yesterday, please lift your hands. I can see four, okay, okay. Well, we are going to continue today. And if you didn't pass yesterday, you had to pass today. Now, um, if you want, remember that you can be volunteer. So everybody, um, if you want to be volunteers, Keep your hands lifted, okay? And let's start. When we finish with the people who hasn't passed today, we are going to continue with the class. Remember, you have three minutes. So let's start. Sara, are you ready, Sara? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Excellent. I guess. <laughs> and Natalie, <laughs> Natalie, are you ready too? Yes, I'm ready too. Very good. Okay, let's start with Sara, and then we are going to continue with Natalie and so on and so on. So Sara, give me a second, just let me write your name. Okay. Okay, Sara, your three minutes starts now. But oh, remember everybody, please keep your microphones off. Only Sara can speak in this moment. The rest of you, please, microphones off. Okay, Sara, your, th uh, your three minutes starts now. Go. Thank you. Um, good morning to all of you. Today, I'm going to talk about all my childhood. Well, a little chapter of my childhood, right? Uh, first of all, I was born in La Libertad, but we were a very poor family. So my mom took the decision to move from La Libertad to San Salvador. In that way, we could have a better lifetime. So I grew up with my grandmother because my mom had to work during the day. I remembered that I used to have a lot of friends of same age like me. So in the afternoon, we used to play a lot of games. For instance, hopscotch, uh, jumping road, um, Marvels, High and Seek, and also Blitfro. I know that Blitfro, it was a little rude game, but I didn't mind. I wanted to spend time uh, with my friends. Also, I remembered I used to have one best friend. His name was Carlos. One day with Carlos, we wanted to eat mangoes. So Carlos climbed a tree and cut 
sandwich then. After that, we peeled the mangoes and also we add lemon juice and salt. On the other hand, I remember that my grandmother uh, always uh, for Sundays, um, she used to cook a uh, chicken soup. Uh, she used to wash very well the chicken with lemon juice and also with water. And she used to peel, <clears throat> I'm sorry, she used to peel the vegetables, for instance, the carrots and the potatoes. And she always uh, cut all the vegetables, for instance, um, the, the tomatoes, um, also the garlic. And meanwhile, on the stove, she used to have the cooking pot with water, uh, so she could add all the ingredients into the cooking pot. When um, the soup be ready, she poured all the soup into the dishes and served in, in the table. And I remembered that uh, we spent a lot of time uh, with my family talking and laughing over any topic. Meantime, we were enjoying um, our uh, soup. The salty chair. And time some. <laughs> Three minutes exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sarah. Very good. Let's okay. continue. You see, guys, only three minutes. Simple. Let's continue with Natalie. Natalie, are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Excellent. Give me a second. Let me write your name. Okay. So, Natalie, your time starts. Now, go. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. I want to talk to you about a good memory I have of my cycle, about my childhood. Um, I remember that I used to visit to my grandmother and spend the whole day there. And I used to play with my cousin and her dog. I remember that uh, her dog used to bark a lot to me. And I used to get really scared um, that was funny too. And we used to play together. We used to play head and feet, jump and drop, and we used to sing and dance. And sometimes they used to help me with my homework too. My girlfriend is 12 years older than me, so maybe sometimes she will be very busy, but um, she still play with me. And I think not all adults do that for a child, you know? And I remember that my grandmother used to cook for us chicken stuff, and we used to eat milk and cookies in the afternoon too. So that is a good memory to remember for me. And now I want to talk to you about a dish I used to eat when I was younger, and this is mushroom potato. And if you want to cook mushroom potatoes, you need some ingredients. You need potatoes, butter, salt, pepper, and um, milk. You need milk too. And for the step for doing this dish, uh, first, uh, peel and cut the potatoes. Then boil the potatoes into salt water until tender, uh, about 20 minutes. And next, put the potatoes in a large bowl and add hot milk and butter to the potatoes. Next, you can use a fork to mash the potatoes until smooth. And finally, season um, with salt and pepper to taste and mix well. And in this moment, it's optional that you can add cheese. And this is a really delicious dish. And I recommend it all of you to taste it. And that's all. Okay. You still have 30 seconds. So if you yeah. want, you can continue talking. Um, 
Okay, maybe I can talk a little more about when I was a child because I really think uh, that was a really good memory for me because actually my cousin is really busy with their child, with their um, with his with their work, and now we don't we don't talk a lot. Uh, like when we was when we was younger, and that's one reason I really. Okay. <laughs> okay, time's up. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, now let's continue. Don't forget, everybody, that you have to uh, keep your camera on. Okay, so if you don't turn on the camera during the exam, that is one point less. Let's continue with Brandon. Brandon, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, give I... me a second. Let me write your name. Okay, everybody, don't forget to write your full names in your profile. Brandon, I can see that it says only Brandon Guzman. Added... Uh, yeah, the problem is that yesterday was, was my first day here. Oh, <laughs> really? So are you yeah. ready for the exam? Did you watch the classes? Yes, I think so. Okay. All the exam, yes. Okay. Um, I needed to write your full names in your profile in Zoom. Okay? Your full name exactly as in your doing. Okay. Give me a moment. Sure. Right. Thank you. Okay, Brandon, you will have three minutes. Okay, talk about a good memory from your childhood and then explain a recipe of a dish that you used to eat. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Your three minutes so, start now. So I'm going to talk about my childhood. I remember that, that it was very good. So I think because for example, I used to play basketball with my friends and I remember that with my family, but I used to watch a lot of movies with my family because I don't know, it's a hobby that we have. Um, For example, about the movie, I, my family or my siblings prefer to watch um, La Monja. I don't know why, in my case it's very good, but I prefer uh, another movie, other movie, sorry. Um, for example, about my high school, um, I think it was very good because my result, it was nine, eight. It was very good. My family was very happy for that. Um, about my dish, my favorite dish or that I used to eat, it was hamburger. In my case, I have the specific um, ingredients that I like to eat with that. For example, I don't know, the bread, onion, lettuce, cucumber, and tomato are the normal of the hamburger. But in my case, I prefer to put chicken, um, meat, or milk for, for some moments. For example, I don't know if, if you got it, the combination. Yeah. But if I need to be honest about my life, I know that... I am a person that I would like to learn about the life. For example, last yesterday I received a very bad accident with my first motorcycle. And uh, the result of that it was that I didn't I didn't go I didn't go to the high school for one week because my body has a lot of wounds. In my case it was very horrible because I I didn't like to I didn't like to go to the high school. In my case, it's very good because I I wanted to play with my friends. I wanted to meet my my teacher, for example, with you. <laughs> for example, in my case, I am a person that I like to be a, a friendship. I don't know. Um, I don't know how can explain about another uh, childhood because... I have a lot of memories, but I prefer to be reserved about me, about myself, sorry. 
Um, I don't know where is the time. You still have 20 seconds. 20 seconds, so. About my childhood, I remember that I prefer to celebrate my uh, Christmas. For example, tomorrow I'm going to decorate my house. Uh -huh. um, my family think that it's a very, very crazy idea. In my case, no, because I love to... I love to see my house very illuminated with another house. I, lo I love to up. compare it. <laughs> okay, time's up. Thank you, Brandon. Um, before continue, I just have a question. Why is this one your first day? What? Why is this one your first day? Why you didn't connect before? Because I had a problem with my cell phone one day left to start the class. Uh, my glass broke. Okay, so you missed a lot of classes, Brandon. So please, I need you to rewatch the classes on YouTube and don't miss more classes because in your case, um, the attendance score is pretty low. So please, you cannot miss more classes, okay? You have to be connected every single class, the complete 90 minutes or the score will be very low in the attendance, okay? Yes, I know. Perfect, thank you. Okay, let's continue with Jennifer. Jennifer, are you ready? Yes, it's... Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I cannot hear you. Can you speak a little bit louder, please? Give me a second. Okay. Can you hear me? Much better. Okay. So, Jennifer, your three minutes start now. Go. Okay. Uh, good morning, teacher and classmates. I'm going to talk about my best memory when I was a child. Uh, to be honest, uh, I have a lot of beautiful memories when I was a child. But my favorite can be when I turned 20 years old. I remember that my mom uh, makes me a uh, very big party and I remember that it was uh, more special for me uh, because I remember that this day uh, my mom uh, gave, gave me a lot of gifts and I enjoyed it with my family and my friends and, and I remember that I used to play with my friends when I, when I started in the school it was uh, more beautiful, uh, but uh, nowadays it's complicated because my friends uh, doesn't don't don't time, and also uh, I remember that on this day I ate a cake, and um, um, sorry I didn't used to eat cake, and uh, because I I didn't like, but now yes. And also, um, I remember that I play, I, I used to play, I dance, I enjoyed with them, and I like this day. And also, uh, now I will talk about my favorite food. And my favorite food is spaghetti. And because when I was a child, I remember that my mom uh, used to prepare this dish. And I like it because it's more easy if you wanna to prepare. And if you if you prepare this dish uh, first, uh, you need to put um, water in a bowl, and also uh, you need to add a spaghetti. And then uh, you need to wait uh, around five or eight minutes. And also uh, you need to. You need to add a salt, a salt of tomato, a butter, and if you wanted to add a milk, uh, you can do it. And to be honest, uh, for me, it's more better if you wanted to put, if you have to, I'm uh, sorry, if you put a milk. And also I, I recommend you because it's more delicious. And if you have a lot of hungry, 
um, you can prepare. And also, uh, when my mom, when my mom was not there, uh, my sister prepared me this dish, and I like. And nowadays, um, he prepares me. Okay, time's up. Thank you, Jennifer. I love a spaghetti stew. All right, thank you. Let's continue with Genesis. Genesis, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Okay, Jennifer, uh, Genesis, give me a second. Just let me write your name. Okay, Genesis, your three minutes start now go okay good morning everyone um i'm going to tell you a good memory from my childhood when i was a child i used to watch tv every night with my parents and also also when i was a child i used to do painting about different things because i love art so when I went out with my family, I used to carry my pencil, notebook, and follow. Um, and I'm sorry I'm to going... interrupt you. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I can barely understand what you're saying. I mean, I can hear you, but uh, it was very low. It's, uh, it... it's difficult to, to listen to you. Okay, um, I'm going, I'm going to repeat. But try to speak louder because I don't understand very well what you're okay. saying. Okay, okay. Uh, when I was a child, I used to watch TV every night with my parents. And also, when I was a child, I used to do painting. I used to do painting about different things because I love art. Um, do you understand? No. What happens is that I can listen to your voice, but I don't understand the sentences. I mean, it's not so clear the audio. It's like it's very low. Okay. Do you have um, any other microphones or any other headset? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe my microphone has a mistake, but I don't know. Yeah. Can you hear me? I mean, I can hear you, but I don't understand your sentences. It's like if I were talking like, well, yeah, like, if I'm speaking very low, you won't understand me, right? So that's the way that I'm listening to you. I can hear your voice, but it's not so clear. Okay. If you okay. want, uh, I'm going to repeat. Okay, but uh, I try to speak louder, please. Okay. I'm going to tell you a good memory from my childhood. When I was a child, I used to watch TV every night with my parents. And also, when I was a child, I used to do painting about different things because I love art. So when I went out with my family, I used to carry my pencil, notebook, and colors. Okay, uh, so... And now I'm going to describe a dish I used to eat when I was younger. I used to eat bread with butter. Uh, to prepare is very simple. You just need to have um, you just need to add butter in the bread first. Uh, then you can put it in, in the oven for a while to head up depending the toaster you want it. And also, uh, also I used to eat beef hamburgers in my house and at Burger King. So I go to describe the recipe. And our unit is burger, bread, vegetable, sauce, beef, cheese. Um, 
So I don't know. Uh, uh, also, I used to eat when I was younger. Is I used to eat tacos and um mango with with lemon. Okay. Um. First, you just need to prepare the tacos. Is easy. So you need to you you need to beef or chicken, um, tomatoes, onions, um, spicy. Uh, if you want uh, sauce, salt. Um, first, uh, first you need to you need to to put in in you need to put in the oven um uh, their tortillas okay um then then you have to put in the tortillas bre uh, bread uh, or chicken and so uh, then you can put the vegetable but First, you need to chop all the all the tomatoes, onions, and spices. Uh, no, onions and ch Guys, chili. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Time's up. Time's up. Very good. Now I could listen. Thank you. Thank you so much for repeating the information. All right. Okay. After Genesis, let's continue with Melvin. Melvin, are you ready? Yes. yes. Excellent. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me write your name. <clears throat> okay, Melvin, your three minutes start now. Go. Okay. Uh, good morning, my classmate. I will take about my childhood. Uh, when I was a child, I liked it uh, when, where, when there were vacation because I played it with my friends in the morning with my bicycle every day. And we went on uh, many walls very far away. And then we played it with marbles uh, in the afternoon. I remember I used to eat um, almos, topollillos, and I drank some beers, uh, sorry, some drinks, <laughs> uh, for example, Coca-Cola, or I remember Fruxy. <laughs> um, so uh, in the afternoon, uh, I remember I listened, listened to music, uh, at a friend's house uh, when his parents were away and went to play soccer on the street. At night, I used to play Willy Thief, Tark, um, Laureline, and Chess, but I didn't. <laughs> and so I used to watch Dragon Ball, um, One Piece, um, Rocket Power, Cat and Dog, because in this moment I liked <laughs> anime. Um, so I remember um, with my friends, uh, I have a very angry neighbors and we used to bob her and she uh, went out uh, and threw water on you <laughs> because we talk uh, on her door and rang. <laughs> Uh, when I was a kid, I I like a uh, pizza. Um, to this you need uh to prepare uh prepare the dough in the container and then uh it need well uh have the tomato sauce in a pan. Uh, place the dough in a mold and add the sauce. Uh, with the ingredients, uh, for example, um, onions, 
mushroom, pineapple, pepperoni, and meat, and put in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes, uh, removed from the oven, and that's it. Uh, we can now serve salt. Mm, in my childhood, I remember I played it with my friends uh, in his PlayStation 1. I played the Tekken or Time's uh, Up. <laughs> by Siri. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Time's Up. Three minutes. Thank you, Melvin. Okay, <laughs> next one. Let's continue with Dora Alicia. Dora, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sure, I'm ready. Excellent. Let me write your name. Okay. Okay, Dora, your three minutes start now. Go. Okay, good morning, everyone. Today I wish to talk to you about a good memory from my childhood. I remember that I used to play different games with my brother and friends were good times for me. I I used to play card with my older brothers. And we always went to the green area that was close to my house. My brother taught me how to ride a bicycle. I remember when I was seven years old, my parents gave me a doll, but I didn't play with doll. I used to prefer play with marble, uh, football, or cards. I used to spend time with my brothers. I used to play jumping, uh, jumping rope or high and sit in my house with my brother and some friends. It was fun being a kid. Uh, for another hand, I remember a dish I used to eat when I was a younger. My mother cooked a dessert twice a month. It was yummy and appetizing for me. The dish was right with meal. The ingredients of the recipe are one cup of rice, six cup of meal, a pinch of salt, uh, one cinnamon stick, two orange peel strips, um, half cup of sugar, half cup of ricin, half cup condensed milk. It depends on the level of the sweetness that you, pre that you prefer. Half teaspoon of vanilla. The steps to prepare it are as follows. First, do you need wash and wring the rice very well? Next, put the meal in a saucepan with the orange peel and cinnamon stick and a pinch of salt. Bring to boil and add the rice. Put on low heat for about half an hour or until the rice is tender. Stir occasionally. After, remove the cinnamon stick and orange peel from the rice. Then, add the sugar and raisin good for five or six minutes or until it is tender and creamy the rice. You need to stir frequently, no forget. After that, add the condensed milk and vanilla. Remove from heat. And finally, the rice with milk can be served warm or cold. Garnish with rum, cinnamon, and it is ready for to eat. This is one of my favorite desserts that my mom cooked when I was a younger. Thanks. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, thank you, Dora. All right. That sounds like a very delicious recipe. Okay, let's continue. Alexander Munoz, are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> That's ah. what it did. Okay, give me a second. Let me write your name. Oops. Okay, Alexander, your three minutes start now. Go. Cool. Hello, everybody. And well, I'm talking about uh, about my childhood. Well, in my case, uh, my childhood was uh, really funny. 
I think so. And when I was a child, I spent time with my brothers and because I don't have a close friends like that because I always uh, uh, did different thing with my siblings. I got uh, my sister and my two brothers and we played a lot, a lot of things like uh, tag or hide and seek. Well, uh, I remember in one moment, we, we went to the farm of my grandpa. Uh, he has a lot of things to play. And uh, in that moment, uh, we met uh, a friend. And he always uh, stayed in um, barefoot. And we played uh, tag with, with him. And the asking was because he really fast man, we can uh, touch him when play a tag or, or something like that. And I remember uh, too, I love when my grandpa made uh, organic coffee because uh, he has a plan of that. And we, we used to harvest the the grain, and then uh, he put it on the on the floor to to take a uh, sound, and and later uh, we we put it on the uh, on the winter. Uh, it's a big blender, and later they put it, they pour uh, hot water. And you can taste the, the better, the best uh, coffee or organic coffee that that I, I never tasted before, right? And well, with my family, we used to see a a movie, something like that, and we play a lot with my brothers too well that I say I remember one thing when I was a child I play uh, with my uh, game playing or well with my with my console uh, I love I love play the fast car like a, like an need for speed this is one and <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, cool. sorry okay no, thank you alexander okay please. let's continue let's continue i can see that it's missing kelly and it's missing walter it's anyone else everyone who hasn't taken the exam besides walter and kelly no one else me okay is missing a stephanie anderson are yes. you missing too I cannot hear you. <laughs> Can you listen to Anderson or is just me? No. Oh, no. Now, yes, no. now I can hear you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did you pass yesterday? I passed yesterday. You didn't or you did? <laughs> didn't. Ah, okay, so you can pass today. Okay. okay, well, let's continue with Kelly after Kelly Walter. Then Stephanie, and we end with Anderson. Kelly, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> you are, absolutely. Kelly, but can you hear me a... very well? Sure, no problem. Okay. Yes. Give me a second. I'm writing your name. Okay, Kelly, you have three minutes. Go. Okay. Hello, teacher and classmate. Today I'm going to talk about a good memory that I get when I was a child. So I remember that when I was five years old, I used to go with my parents and my brother to the soccer court. And we spent a lot of time there together, right? And also we used to ride bicycle for 10 or 15 minutes in order to arrive to the place. So to the soccer court, right? Uh, after that, we used to play soccer for one or two hours. And 
So it was a really good time with them. And as well, that was the reason why I start to love play soccer. Uh, I used to play in the neighbor's soccer team for around, I don't know, 10 years, maybe 10, 10 years. And besides that, uh, my favorite food when I was a child was the whale chicken soup. And my mother used to cook it after we play soccer. So that was, that is the reason why as well is my was my favorite food when I was a child. Uh, I can cook very well, but I will try. <laughs> uh, so I live alone, but I don't cook that kind of food. No like a one per month, I don't know. So let's start, right? <laughs> so talking about the utensils, you are going to need the table soup, saucepan, a knife, and a pillar as well, if you want, right? <laughs> it's a pan and a few, or you can use the knife. So the ingredients are, of course, the well chicken, <laughs> water of course and some vegetables like onion garlic eh, tomatoes potatoes carrots as well if you want broccoli i don't like broccoli but you can use broccoli right and also lemon but the lemon it will be just for the end if you want <laughs> So first, right, um, you need to boil the water in the south bow with onion, garlic, and potato, and chicken as well. <laughs> so you can cook it for around 30 minutes, I think so. Then you need to watch the vegetables and color the vegetables, right? Uh, then uh, you need to chop the vegetables and um, then you can cook it. I mean, after the 30 minutes, you can boil the, um, I don't know, no, it's not boiled. It's like a, you can add the vegetables to the sauce pan with the, where you put the chicken, right? And, and you can wait off. around 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, time so was good. Thank you, Kelly. All right. Unfortunately, the time was not enough, but it's okay. Let's continue. Walter, are you ready? Uh, not really. I'm nervous. I had a headache. Oh, really? Did you take something, a pill or something? Before the class. Okay, but can you take the exam? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's run. Okay, go ahead. Your three minutes start now. Go. Okay, I I going to talk about my childhood. Uh, when I was a child, I had a different favorite moment. But my favorite activity was when I was a child was when I played the soccer with my friend, my neighbors. Uh, uh, we were play soccer every Sunday in the morning. Uh, also, I was very bad at uh, playing soccer, and my my friend said, "You are the worst player uh, here." And I loved it because it's true. I was very bad soccer player. Uh, I don't, I remember I used to watch uh, different cartoons. Uh, in my childhood, I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Rugrats, Dragon Josh, and Sailor Moon, One Piece. I I love the the anime and the uh, comic series. Uh, I used to eat uh, a lot of food when I was a child. My mom used to cook the chicken soup. She used to prepare pupusas. She used to make cake. Uh, my my mom is a very good uh, cooker. And when I was a child, I used to play different video games. 
I play the Mario Bros. Street Fighter. I uh, used to play the, the Mortal Kombat and uh, another video game, and I love it. And when I was younger, I used to eat eggs with beans and plantain. The receipt the display is first I show the uh, onions and a uh, bell pepper, and then I put it all in a frying and fry pan with uh, with two eggs. I asked her to prepare the eggs. I simmer the beans with two uh, garlic cloths. And when when the beans are ready, uh, I put in a, a fry pan and fry with uh, onion and bell pepper. Uh, then I I uh, slide the the plantain and I fry the plantain. And finally, I serve the food in a plate and eat. It's all sushi. Well, time's up. <laughs> I was missing only one second. Okay, thank you, Walter. Uh, try to take a pill or something. I hope you get better soon, okay? All right, let's continue. Stephanie, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent, give me a second. Let me write your name. Okay. okay. So I have Stephanie uh, Regina. Did you pass yesterday? No? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so we got Stephanie Anderson no. and then Regina. Okay, mm -hmm. Stephanie, your three minutes start now. Go. Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, I will talk about about my childhood. And um, well, when I was a child, I used to uh, eat a lot of ice cream and I used to ride my bike all day. Uh, it's one of my best memories because I used to be a very energetic and sporty person. Uh, but I now I'm not that kind of person, right? Uh, I used to play uh, many sports like soccer, tentaro, volleyball, and others. And also, I remember that I used to be uh, very good for board games. And I used to go uh, to the park every weekend with my father. It was a routine, uh, but nice activity, right? Uh, I no longer maintain communication with him, but uh, they were good memories that I have. And I will talk about right now a dish that I used to eat when I was a child. The name is in Spanish is like um, arroz aguado because the recipe is like um, more for Central America. So the ingredients that we need, uh, let me see, half cup of rice, uh, piece, pieces of vegetable, you can chop the vegetable. And of course, it's optional, for example, uh, such a uh, potato, carrot, celery, green chili, onions. You need a chicken in portion. Um, let me see. Six glasses of water, a pinch of spices, and a pinch of salt. And you have to put all the ingredients in a pot, okay? When I uh, read the, re the recipe, I feel that was easy. Uh, do it? Who knows? But well, I will explain the step. And let me see. The first step, uh, we must uh, wash the chicken with vinegar, uh, lemon, and water. We have to wash the vegetables too. And let me check. The second step is you have to put the water into the pot and turn out uh, the stove. Then we have to saute the chopped vegetable with a garlic clove. And we have to wait three minutes and add the add the rice to the water. And after five minutes, we have to add the chicken and simmer until the chicken and the rice are soft, okay? 
after that, uh, we have to add the speech of the species and also pinch the pinch of salt. And, and time's up. <laughs> I'm sorry, time's up. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. That sounds delicious too. All yes, right. you're welcome. All right, let's continue. Anderson, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. So give me a second. Let me write your name. Okay, Anderson, your three minutes start now. Go. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about my childhood memories. And I remember I used to visit my sister. My sister, she's older than me. She has one son. So it's my nephew. My nephew is called Dennis. Dennis has the same S as I. So that's why I liked a lot to visit her because I used to play with my nephew. And I remember uh, we built a, a racetrack. So because my uh, nephew had a lot of cars, a lot of type of, uh, type of car. So, and I brought uh, some cars to his house so we used to play uh for a long time in the evening uh, so i liked a lot that moment and near to my sister house uh there was a river uh that was so emotional because we used to go to the river and uh i remember i caught some fish a little fish in that river so it was emotional when uh, when uh, my father and mom uh, picked me up to this to my sister house i came back to the house and i remember my mom um, cooked uh lasagna and lasagna is my favorite plate so it's my favorite dish so that's why uh when i saw a uh, lasagna when i saw a uh, hair lasagna in my uh I remember uh, I got mouth watering, you know, to sell the lasagna. And the lasagna I, that I remember, it was really, really uh, delicious. Let me explain you just a little uh, how to make lasagna. Uh, the ingredients that you need to have in your kitchen is uh, are uh, tomatoes, at a pasta sauce, uh, pasta as well, uh, onion, pepper, and garlic, and some, uh, pe uh, let me see, yes, just that. And the utensils are, uh, you need to be, uh, you need to have a, a large, uh, a large container, and a fork, a spoon, and um, saucepan, saucepan, and a fry pan. So first, you need to uh, you need to boil the lasagna. So you need to pour water on the saucepan. Then you need to when you the the water is a boil boiling, you need to put the lasagna, and then you need to wait for a. Uh, 10 minutes, I think, Time's when the last. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Time stop. Three minutes. Lasagna sounds delicious too. Thank you, Anderson. Okay, let's continue with Regina. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. So let me ask you, everybody, after Regina, is anyone else who hasn't taken the exam? Or is Regina the last one? Yes? Nobody else? Are you sure? Remember that today is the last day to do that. Okay. If there's no someone else, so officially, Regina, you are the last one. Your three minutes starts now. Okay. Go. Okay. Hi, good morning, everybody. And talk about my childhood memories. And well, I remember um, everything that uh, 
the special days with my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather, when was alive, uh, he he told me I scored histories because he lived in San Ramon near to the volcano and he taught, taught uh, everything a uh, thing happened in this in this place and I went to the stadium with him and I play I just I just play I used to play soccer with my cousin and my grandmother made tortilla tortillas and he he he, he she make a, a little tortilla with salt and i remember when when play soccer with my cousin and my and my grand and my grandfather too and I my my mother do Maggie soup uh, with a different way to do. Uh, we need some vegetable, tomato, onion, garlic, cilantro, green pepper, sauce, and eggs. First, uh, my mom cut cut the the vegetable. Then boil the vegetable and then when the vegetable ready, put the sauce and the maggi soup. And finally end the egg and it's ready to eat. I would like to add cream and cheese. Um, I remember uh, I remember that my my brother don't like it and uh, he always uh, cry for this because my mother um, he he was hungry because he 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 didn't like it that but for me it's a good food because I I I like it and only that you still have fifteen seconds. Okay, and when was my uh, grandfather is was uh, alive? I remember that um, she, she she he want to uh, play with us and cooking with us too. And I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Regina. Thank okay. you. Okay. It's missing. Anyone else? Did everybody take the exam? Yes. Are you sure? Speak now or keep silence forever? <laughs> Okay, so everybody, officially, we just finished the first speaking evaluation. How do you feel? How did you feel the exam? Was it easy, difficult, more or less? How did you feel the exam? What do you think? Uh-huh. Easy? easy, difficult, yeah? Is there the rest of you, everybody? Easy. Easy? It was easy. <laughs> okay. I, th I think it was easy, but when you put in your mind, I need to talk with something in specific, you feel a little nervous, right? And you, because you could be a, make a mistake. And that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> that happens sometimes, yes. I can read the chat that some of them says more or less, okay? Now, that was the first speaking evaluation. Today in the afternoon, I'm going to send the scores and the feedbacks so you can read your feedback, read um, the details that you need to improve. And if you have issues, everybody, so 
you need to work on it. So for the next speaking evaluation, you don't make the same mistakes. Now, there are little details that you had in common. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but um, you will read it in your feedback. But guys, one of the most common mistakes is that I was listening the phrase, when I was a younger. Is this sentence correct? Yes or no? What do you think? When I was a younger. Young? No. Was yeah. a Look, the correct one is just this. When I was younger. You don't need the a. Uh. If you say a, uh, a uh, younger, okay, you need to tell me a uh, younger what? When I was, for example, a younger person, when I was a younger kid, but if you say ah, you need to add a younger what, okay? Or just keep it simple and say only when I was younger, okay? Another little detail, the pronunciation of this word. I listen to many people say recipe, recipe, or recite. But mm -mm. what is the correct pronunciation? Recipe. Recipe. Okay. Be careful with that. So if you have a mispronunciation, I will write the word. And next to the word, I'm going to add a letter P. That means that the pronunciation of that word wasn't correct. Okay. So those are like the most common mistakes that I was listening during the exam, then individually, everybody, you will see um, your scores. There were some people that they were talking when the time uh, stopped and you couldn't continue talking. Remember that I told you that the time is something that I was evaluating. So if suddenly you couldn't finish your explanation, I will write, for example, there were some people that they were explaining the steps of the recipe, but they couldn't finish because the time was not enough. So for those people, I write something like time was not enough. And that means one point less in fluency. Why influency? Because you didn't organize your ideas, you didn't organize your time, your thoughts, and that's why you didn't have enough time to finish explaining the steps. Okay, so if you're reading your feedback that says time was not enough, one point less influency is because of that. Got it? Yes? Yes. Any questions mm -hmm. so far? Everybody about the exam? No. Okay, no? Okay, so in this case, let's continue everybody. Um, if you remember, it, okay, I see in the chat says, younger is comparative. Yes, that's true. But if you say, when I was younger, it's correct because you can say, cuando yo era más joven. It's fine. What it is not correct is to say when I was a uh, younger. That a, uh, it, it doesn't go there. Okay. Now, ah, uh, thank you for the ones who has the camera on already. I was waiting for it. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, everybody. If you remember, we need to review a topic that we studied in the last class. What was the last topic that we studied? Let's see if you remember. Used to, be used to, and get used to. That's the one. Do you remember that topic, everybody? Yes. Only one, oh my gosh. And the rest? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, Excellent. Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer to explain me 
How can we use used to? Can you explain me, please? Imagine that I am your student. Can you explain me used to? Um, I can, teacher. Sure, it was you. things that we did in the past, but no more. In the present, I don't do it anymore. No. Okay. Can you give me an example, please? Um, I used to drink water um, all the day and <laughs> just three or four times. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's no help. <laughs> yes, I know. But just example. it's just an example. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I say something like? I used to watching TV. Oh, watching TV? No. No. No? Why not? Never. Never. It's in base form. Okay. Like this? I used to watch TV? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Can I use used to in simple present? Like, for example, ah, oh, I used to watch TV. Yes or no? No. 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 Okay, it's only for simple past? Yes, because mm -hmm. it, I think that you used to do it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So used to, as your classmate said, actions that we did in the past, but not anymore. Actions we did, that means that we cannot use it in another grammar tense, okay? It's just for the simple past. Okay, thank you, now it's clear. Now, can you explain me how I can use be used to? What's the difference? Yes, teacher. Um, well, be used to is to describe that things that you have already the ability to do it and you are like accustomed to do that things. Mm -hmm. And one important thing is that you can use that uh, like grammar tense in in different uh, like in, in past or in the present or actually in the future. So it's mm -hmm. totally different than used to. Okay, is that true, everybody? Did you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes? <laughs> oh, you don't remember, only yes. Victor remembers. I don't know if, uh, if it's an action that you are going to do, but you you didn't do, I don't know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, the difference with be used to, as your classmate said, is something that you are accustomed to do. And he was right. We can use it in different grammar tenses, not only in simple past. You can use it in present, in past, in future, present perfect, any kind of grammar tense. Can you give me an example? Volunteer to give me an example using be used to, please. Um, me? Yes. For example, um, I am used to living in Yapango City, but now I live in San Salvador. Hmm, okay, I am used to living in? The Yapango City. Okay. Only that? But now, uh -huh. I live in San Salvador. Okay. So look at this one. I'm used to living. Is that correct? Can I use I and you? No. Yes. Yes, yes but. The but? context, I think it's no. In this case, let's pay attention. The structure is correct because I have the verb to be. I have used to, and remember, that is the difference between used to and be used to. When we have the verb to be, the verb, the next one is in ing. That's good. 
but mm, the context is something that it doesn't match. I'm used to living in Soyapango, but now I live in San Salvador. That sounds like contrast. Estoy acostumbrada a vivir en Soyapango, pero ahora vivo en San Salvador. It will be better if we, instead of am, can I we was. change? Yeah, it sounds much better if we say was. I was used to living in Soyapango. Estaba acostumbrada a vivir en Soyapango. But what happens? Now, I live in San Salvador. That was much better. But yeah, that's a good sentence. Is it clear, everybody, the difference between be used to and used to? Yes. These, yeah. these uh, are two different verbs. Yes, uh, you have a question? I, I don't know if I'm mistake, but uh, we can add in that sentence, uh, I, I am get used to living am... in San Salvador. Mm. Like uh, combining. Yeah. Like I am get used to like this. Yeah. Yes, but you have to say it like this. Get it. Okay. I am getting used to. But in this case, ¿cuál es el verbo que estoy usando? ¿Estoy usando el be used to o estoy usando el get used to but in the present continuous? What do you think? Using the get used to. Yes, in this sentence, I'm using get used to, but in the present continuous. That's why I'm saying I'm getting used to. Now, talking about getting used to, I need another volunteer. Can you explain me what's the difference with get used to? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? I'm getting used to watching TV just at night. Ah, okay. I'm getting used to. Uh, what is the verb that you use? Watching TV. Mm -hmm. Just at night. Okay, that's a good habit. Look at this one. I'm getting used to watching TV. Is that correct that I use ing here? Yes. 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 Yeah. So, but. According to the meaning, what is the difference between be used to and get used to? Get used to is you are not. We are in the process of becoming accustomed to. Uh -huh. Very good. That's the one. Get used to is like you are in the process. You are trying to be accustomed. In this moment, if I say, I'm getting used to, that means that uh, mm, I'm not at all used to, but I'm trying, I'm in the process. Can I use get used to in all the grammar tenses? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And that is the difference between be used to, get used to, and used to. The only one that we cannot use in different grammar tenses is used to. Used to is only for the simple past. Understood? Yes, go ahead. Uh, I can say I'm getting used to sleep early. Sleeping. Sleeping early. That's the one? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And that is another difference. When we use used to, I need the verb in infinitive. That means not changes. But with be used to and get used to, I need the verb in ing all the time. Is that clear, everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Ready for, ready for an exam? I just said that you don't have questions, so that means that you're ready, right? Teacher. Uh huh. And I have a question uh, with uh, sentences in a present a perfect. Uh -huh. I don't know if if it's correct to say like uh, I have been used to. 
it's like a, a thing that I am accustomed to do that. I'm going to write it's it correct. like this. I have been used to. Yes. Yeah, it's correct. I mean, remember uh, everybody, the structure is the same. You need the verb to be and then used to. If you were using the other one, you can say, I have gotten used to. I mean, yes, you can do it in all the grammar tenses. There's no problem at all. Now, let's have a quick practice. I have here some sentences. You have to decide which form of used to you will use to complete the sentence. For example, look at this one says, he, ta, 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 a rich man, but now he's a beggar. What is the meaning of beggar? Have you ever heard that? Beggar. What is beggar? It's like a people that lives in the street, on the street or something like that. Basically, beggar is that kind of people, everybody that uh, is in the street asking for money because they don't have anything to eat. Okay? Like uh, homeless? Yes, basically. So in this case, everybody, can I say he used to be, he was used to be, or he got used to be? What do you think? He was used, he to, was. Be. used to be. He was used, he used to be. The rest of you, what do you think? He used to be. He used to be. He used to be. He used to be. Are you sure? Yes. Extra homework for each mistake. Do you agree? He was. Yes, mm -hmm. it's right. I, I think that it's, it's like I'm a little confused because it's like a, both make sense, but I think that maybe is more used used to be. So let me ask you: Is an action that happens in the past but not anymore, or it's something that he is already accused him? What do you think? In the past, something that happened in the past. That's it. Look. What happens in the past? In the past, he was rich. Mm -hmm. But what happens in the moment? Is he rich or not anymore? Mm -hmm. not, not, anymore. Anymore. Not, anymore. not anymore. That's why we are going to say he used to be. It's something that happens in the past, but not anymore. Okay? What about the next one? This sentence is in negative. So he ta, 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 books, but now he reads all the time. So again, are we going to use used to, to be used to, or get used to? I think used that to, used to. He didn't used to. He didn't use to read books. Yeah. Okay. He, wasn't, he wasn't used to reading books. He wasn't used to reading. Used to read. So he wasn't used to read or he reading. didn't used to read. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't used to read. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that is the one. He didn't used to read. Again, be careful with the be, go, uh, the be used to, okay? It's an action that you are used to do or you are accused him to do. In this case, he didn't used to. It sounds more like something that happened in the past, but not anymore. Okay, how about this one? I am -da 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 -da, a car. I always take the bus. What do you think? Can I say I am used to drive? Well, in this case, it's negative. I am not used to drive. I am not 
get used to drive? What do you think? I'm not used. I'm not to used to drive. That is the one. In this case, I mean, look at this one. We have the verb to be right here. So, but can I say I am not used to drive? Mm -hmm. no. I am not used to driving. driving. Be careful with the ing. How about this one? It took him five years to ta 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 with chopsticks. Do you know what chopstick is? No. No. Chopsticks? No. When you eat Japanese or Chinese food? Uh -huh. Yes, have you ever eaten with them? Yes. So those are chopsticks. When you eat Japanese food, they don't use a fork, they use chopsticks. So what do you think, everybody? Used to, be used to, get used to. Get used to. It get used to. Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Get used to? Yes. Yes. Look at this one. Are we talking about a process? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Definitely. It's a process. How long was the process? <laughs> Five years. Five years. Imagine that seems like it's not so simple, right? To use chopsticks. So it's a process. That's why we say it took him five years to get used to verb in ing eating. Okay. Now look at the next one. How many correct answers do you have so far? Four. Nah. Four. Four. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, and the rest of you, how many correct answers do you have so far? Four. Four? Okay, this sentence is in negative. Jim was very shy as a kid. He, ta -da -ta -da -ta, many friends, but now he does. He didn't use to have. He didn't? He didn't used to have. Okay. Didn't use. Didn't used to? Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Totally. He didn't used to have many friends. That was something in the past. But now, look, it's different. Now he does. That means that now he has a lot of friends. Okay, next one. I need a volunteer. Who wants to read it, please? What do you think? I used to. I'm used to. You gotta use to. I am. I'm used to. I'm used to. I. I'm waking up, waking up early. Okay, but give me the full sentence. I'm used to. I'm, I'm used, to, used to waking up early. Mm -hmm. Everybody, do you agree? I'm used to waking up early. Yes. Uh, yes. I am used to. Are you sure? Uh, I think I, I'm not. I don't I, know. If it's I guess correct, but I, I gotta. Uh, I am gotta used to waking up early yeah i'm getting mm -hmm. used to uh -huh. Be yeah. because God. he he tried to for i think it's in i think it's in past because he said for the passing year so do you think that he is already accused him or is he in the process what do you think I think it's already a custom. Yes. Yes. It is. He is already a custom. So very basically he's saying, I am used to waking up early. 
It's not difficult for me. Why? Ah, uh, because imagine for how long has he waking up early? Ten years. Ten, ten years. years. For ten years. After ten years, waking up early. I mean, he is more than a custom, right? He's not in the process. No, he is already a custom. Okay. Okay, let's see. How about this one? My grandmother, da 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 da, -da over an open fire. Now she uses an air fryer. A lot of technology. What is the sentence here? Used to cook. Used to cook. My grandmother used to cook. Yes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. With your life? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I like some people say yes, no problem. And that's correct. Again, this is an action that happens in the past, but yes, we anymore. are going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You have one more day. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. My son. Is still da 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 by himself after living with us for eighteen years. It's getting used to. Getting used to. It's getting, getting used to living. Getting used to. Yes, getting, getting, getting used, used to, to living. living. Are you sure? Yes. With yes. 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 <laughs> now you say it with my life. Okay. <laughs> And yes, totally. The key word is still, right? That represents that they are in the process. So I know that these three verbs might be a little bit confusing, everybody. I totally understand. So just remember the scenarios. Used to is only for the simple past. Something that happens some time ago, but it's not happening anymore. On the other hand, be used to is when you are accustomed to something, okay? Or the actions that are used to doing. On the other hand, get used to is when we are in the process. We are not accustomed yet, but we are in the process. Now, we don't have a lot of time, but in the previous class, we practiced uh, some questions. Some of you didn't answer them, some of you did. But let's see. We were talking about the before and after COVID. So let's try to remember those years <laughs> when we had COVID-19. Name those things you used to do and those things you didn't use to do. Can I have a volunteer to answer that question, please? So before COVID, can you tell me those actions that you used to do? What would be the answer? Um, I think one of the most important things that I used to do uh, after, uh, well, before the COVID is that I used to uh, go to the university very often and it's like I'm, I used to spend a lot of time with my friends and in other places or something like that. And mm -hmm. the thing that I didn't used to is like I didn't used to... Um, uh, be uh, a lot of time in my cell phone and the social <laughs> medias or something like that. So uh -huh. and TikTok. That's, that's, <laughs> yes, of course. That's a good example. So before COVID, we used to have face-to-face -face classes. But now what happens? Mm -mm. We, I mean, it's different. In negative, ah, I didn't used to have virtual classes. I didn't used to watch TikTok, okay? 
Now, let's go for the second question. Think about all those things that you were used to doing before COVID. Can you give me an answer, volunteer? Those activities that you were used to doing before COVID. Uh-huh. No volunteers? Oh my gosh. I think that we, uh, I wear. I wear? I I, I was sorry. Uh -huh. I, I, I was used to waking up early so before the COVID because we I had a, a lot of appointments or classes and different things. And mm -hmm. I definitely I was not uh, I was not used to um, waking up late. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now, let me ask you, everybody. Before COVID, were you used to wearing face masks? Yes or no? No, we weren't. Mm -hmm. No, we, we never do that, right? So we can say, you know what? Before COVID, I wasn't used to wearing face masks. I wasn't, I didn't do that before. So, but we have to do that. We were in the process, okay? Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. My suggestion, everybody, is that please keep in mind those questions. I sent these questions on WhatsApp group. So try to answer the questions by yourself. Try to think uh, like, Hmm, how can I answer this question? Okay, and try to give details. Just don't forget each scenario and don't forget to use the correct structure. Got it? Any questions so far, everybody, about used to, be used to, or get used to? No. 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 Ready for an exam about it? No. <laughs> uh, okay. No. Be careful, everyone. Okay, everybody, we don't have more time. We are going to continue tomorrow. Today in the afternoon, I'll try to send your scores. Okay, so just give me a moment because I have a lot of work to do. So, guys, have a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Work on the platform, please. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.